We're going to plunge ourselves into what used to be known as the Latin Quarter, Quartier Latin of Paris, an area um, where um, there were thousands of thousands of, of students during the time of Pola de Place. It's still the, very much the case today. We are here, right here in um, Place de Pantheon, Pantheon Square. The Pantheon is there in front of us, uh, behind us here there is the, the Faculty of Law. From here we are going to go to Collège Saint-Louis, Lycée Saint-Louis, where Ola came to Paris and started studies. The whole area used to be known as the, the Latin Quarter. Voilà. So right down there at the angle we have the beginning of uh, what is today Rue Cuja, uh, Cuja Street. Uh, uh, it was on that street, but down below that the community started. We are going to visit it uh, in a few moments. So we are looking at uh, Lycée Louis Le Grand, Louis Le Grand College. It was in this college that Paula came from Rennes to start his uh, studies in, in Paris when he decided to, to become a priest, uh, a college that was uh, run by the Jesuits. It's very interesting why Paula came to Louis Le Grand and not the Sorbonne because uh, in uh, Louis Le Grand he had all the, the good theology that was uh, quite uh, uh, positive with, in terms of relationship with Rome whereas uh, in Sorbonne there was this uh, heresy, Jansenist heresy that we are opposed to, to, to Rome. In Louis Le Grand he had all the good theology but no, no certificate, no, no degrees. Whereas in, um, in Sorbonne you have all the recognition and he wanted to be a very simple priest. He, he, he wasn't interested in the, in the degrees as such. And uh, that was the same thing he wanted for the students when he started the congregation. We're standing in, number, in front of number 12, uh, Rue Cuja. It was here that it all began in 1702, the when Pula was studying in uh, 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 Louis Le Grand College, the other side of the route. The streets were not uh, arranged this way. In fact, uh, Rue Cuja uh, was done um, in the, late in the 19th century. It wasn't like that uh, when Pula was here. Anyway. There was a house here which was known of, as a uh, Gros Chapelle. Uh, that was the house that Pula um, rented uh, uh, some rooms. And there he started uh, assembling uh, around himself uh, two, three, four students, Jarabas, who had difficulties paying their fees. And uh, these were students who wanted to become priests and had very difficult, big difficulties with uh, finances and he used his own personal means to, to help them. Um, so the, co the, the congregation started like that, uh, a few poor students around him and then the house uh, became um, too small and then they later moved. It was here that it all started in 1702. 